you all, it's Dorothy from PrepInYourStep.com and welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to be posting this video for you all because I think it's one that could be really useful. I know that in high school I had uniforms, so building up a wardrobe for school was really difficult, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of phrase this video in terms of like my fall fashion essentials that really lead into winter because being from Alabama and then going to school in Greenville, South Carolina, there's really not that much of like a really cold winter, so we can get by with, you know, layering our favorite fall pieces with a jacket and calling it winter. So I'm just going to share some of my like fall necessities um, that I wear constantly and that have gotten just like their money's worth from my wear and tear. So I hope y'all are excited and that maybe you can see some holes in your wardrobe that you want to fulfill before Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and just kind of things to add to your wish list or anything that you may recommend that I don't already have on my list that I should kind of look for to fill holes in my wardrobe. So we're just going to jump into it by starting with shoes. Okay, so before we get into boots, first I want to talk about flats. I am an elementary education major, so I spend a lot of times in classrooms at schools in Greenville County, and so I have to dress nicely at least two days a week, and I found that flats are just such an easy way to complete an outfit. This pair is actually a recent pair from Gap, and I've seen so many just trendy bloggers, trendy YouTubers wearing really cute like lace around the ankle flats. So I found this pair on Super Sale at Gap and they were a great color for me and I liked the pointed toe, that um, kind of addition. And I got them and they are super comfortable. I wear them all day one day and they match everything. Um, and this is just a fun flat to have in the fall and winter, honestly any time of the year, but especially in the fall and winter. So flats, whether they're lace up or just plain, are essential. Now it wouldn't be fall footwear if we didn't talk about boots. So my next three favorites that I guess for fall are boots. I would consider these my tried and true boots. These are just the Fry Melissa button boot in I don't even know the name of the color and I can't tell you how many times that these have been resold but I've had these for quite a number of years and my dad is great about you know resealing them or I guess like polishing them but I love this style of boot. I love that it has a very small heel. Um, it looks good over skinny jeans. It matches just about everything. And Fry has amazing quality. So I know these will last a really long time to come. So these are always a go-to for me. Any riding boots will do, but especially this pair. And then I have, of course, my bean boots. This is the, I guess these would be the proper grammar, 8-inch lace-up ones with the brown bottoms. These are perfect, especially when it's cold outside or it's raining and I don't want to wear my hunter rain boots and I want to wear comfy socks and um, just kind of like throw these on. These are perfect. I even have a pair that's the non-lace up ones that have the softer or like the warmer interior that are just as great, but bean boots are a wonderful thing to have in the fall and definitely in the winter. And lastly, this is a new pair of boots that I got this year and they're surprisingly from Old Navy. I saw a really similar pair on Nordstrom's website but they were sold out of my size and I was really bummed. And then these just happened to, you know, step into my life. Get it? Prepping your stuff? You didn't have to laugh. Um, but I love this gray suede and I love that they're short. Um, and I also adore that they don't really have a heel because I want a shorter heel if I'm just wearing it every day. So these were really affordable, came in a couple different colors, can't recommend them enough. They honestly feel like slippers, so I have everything linked below. But if you want a nice pair of, I guess these would still be considered booties even though they don't have a heel, then check out Old Navy. I have been finding some great shoes on the most random sites and these, so many friends have been like, oh my gosh, where are those from? Those look so cute, so your secret's safe with me. Okay, so I just decided we're going to like work our way up. You know, we started with shoes, now we're going to do pants. A great pair of skinny jeans is obviously a must-have, but my other favorite when I don't feel like wearing jeans, which is very frequently, are the Gigi pants from J. Crew Factory. And I have them in navy, I have them in black, I have them with pockets, I have them without pockets. I wear the heck out of these things. Um, so they're just like a skinny, skinny fit, I guess, and they're really stretchy and so comfortable. So these are very similar to the pixie pants that regular J. Crew has, 
but I honestly like this version more than the pair that I have from J. Crew. So J. Crew Factory is the place to be. Love the navy color. Can't recommend these enough. Okay, so bear with me. I have a lot of tops to show because I have a lot of things that are just on a constant rotation in various colors. But the first of those would be a pico top. If you're unfamiliar with pico tops, basically they're the softest of just regular old long sleeve t-shirts. And I always get mine off of picotop.com, maybe? Oh, well, that was really smooth. Um, and I have them in white, gray, purple. I have them in so many colors. And they're perfect any season, but I love just how simple they are because you can pair them with a vest or a sweater or a necklace, and it creates a complete different look when you're still just using one item. Another thing I love are just comfy sweaters. So I have so many different sweaters. I just grabbed this one because it was convenient. This is just a fun like burnt orange color. I have tons of white sweaters, gray sweaters. I really need to steer clear of those colors. But I am all about throwing on a sweater with some jeans and shoes and calling it an outfit. Uh, and everyone's like, okay, you look put together. Like, little did they know that I wore this to my Monday class and it's Thursday because I don't have classes with those people on the same day. So you can sneak outfits by people if you're not afraid to be an outfit repeater. But honestly, it's so easy to mix up what you're wearing with just these basic items and sweaters are a great thing to have in the fall and winter. Also, I have grown increasingly fond of ponchos. If you want to wear a blanket out in public, a poncho is a really chic way to do that. This one I got this year and have just loved and I love that how soft the material is and kind of the texture that it gives and just the elegance that a poncho can give to an outfit so ponchos are great so I know I talked about this in my October favorites but this pullover is it is a blanket I mean I just called that poncho a blanket but this is even more so a blanket this is by the company True Grit and I will link it below because sometimes they're kind of hard to find um, and it is just such a comfy pullover this one's at a medium I am like a 2, 4, 5, 7. I should have gotten the small, but I do not regret having the medium. I always roll the sleeves. The perfect thing to throw on when you don't feel like looking as cute with all of your clothes that you have. This is my go-to. I can't recommend it enough. It's so comfortable and I can get by with wearing it to the library. <laughs> Next up is one of the things that I own far too many of but will never get rid of. And that would be J. Crew vest. Any vest is great, but I am especially drawn to the ones that J. Crew has. I have this herringbone one, a couple solid ones, a striped one. They're so great to throw on with different colored sweaters or pico top or just about anything and just provide more warmth than just a regular outfit. And they make you look really put together, so vests are a go to in the fall and winter and definitely spice up an outfit. Next I have two scarves because I'm indecisive and I'm showing you one of everything else so why not sneak in a rule breaking thing at some point. I just have these two like just basic scarves that I love. I typically gravitate toward patterned scarves um, especially because I have so many things that are neutral and just gray and white for fall and winter clothing so this is a great way to kind of change that outfit and make it look very different. So I have these and many, many other scarves that you can buy just about anywhere to make an outfit look completely different. And lastly is my most expensive essential, one that probably has been paid for by the number of times I've worn it, and that is my Barber Bead Nail Jacket. Like I said, they're expensive, they're an investment, but thinking about it, my aunts have had theirs since college. Like my grandfather who's been wearing the same one for so long. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.